Hey gorgeous people who love the scrap, it's far from Australia. Just wanted to share a gorgeous box and a mini that I've made to put inside the box with you all. Hope you're all doing fine and having a great Easter. Um, it's um, Easter Monday here in Australia and um, I've been making uh, this box for, for the past day and also this morning and I've um, managed to complete it. And it didn't take long whatsoever, so quick because the papers are just gorgeous and it came together super super fast, so not long whatsoever. And the paper that I've used is by um, Prima Madeline Collection. I've previously made a 6x6 mini using this paper and I've also bought a 6x6 um, paper pad so I've incorporated that into this little gorgeous mini that I've made to go inside this box here. Uh, this box is um, just a raw um, timber box that I bought from uh, one of the bargain stores that we have in Australia here. We don't have a Michaels or a Joanne, so I'm so jealous of um, all you people that do have a Michaels or, or a Joanne and you can just go and, and buy whatever. So it took a while to find this box because um, not many places have these boxes whatsoever and I would have liked to have found another bigger one, but I didn't have a bigger one at all. This is roughly around about uh, 15 or 17, 15 or 17 centimeters by about 10 or 12, so it's not very big at all in centimeters. I don't know my inches, sorry, I can't convert it for you people who uh, like inches and not centimeters, so <laughs> I do apologize there. But um, um, I've also used um, crackle technique on this particular box uh, by following a couple of tutorials that I've uh, seen on YouTube also and just used a base color uh, this time i went with like a creamish sort of base color and and then you put your um crackle medium on top uh, and then the last color which is white so always let it dry in between the coats so i use my um, heat gun to speed up the process so if you want to learn how to make these boxes just type in um, crackle tutorials on youtube and a couple of a couple of the ladies who have had um tutorials on, on this technique will pop up and yeah just go and watch them because they're really really good and it helped me to achieve the look that I wanted for this box so uh, you guys are my inspiration because I've watched a lot of um, ultra boxes on there and I really wanted to make my own so uh, that's how I've done this box so crackle all sides and the top except the bottom and um, the papers up here I've just used the Grace Taylor um, paper that I've mentioned previously on here also. Um, and then this is a uh, Prima Madeline journaling or a note card that I've modge podged on top. So after I did all my crackle um, crackle effect on it, I modge podged um, the paper here as the background and then uh, the note card on top after I've distressed it and added uh, Green, lime green stickles and uh, clear stickles but because the background's actually green also the clear one turned green anyway so that didn't help much <laughs> but anyways uh, I've distressed the edges here also with the worn lipstick uh, pink uh, just to highlight uh, all the all the edge here and just use a Prima say with pearl bling there a gorgeous um, tool flower that I have made and I've also uploaded a video on that also and uh, I followed a tutorial by SA Crafters on how to make this tool flower and it's just gorgeous. Um, a button center there and some uh, leaf here also and I've curled the wires. So that's the front, uh, that's the top of the box and I've just used some pearl trim to go all the way around here. So that's just how the box looks and it's really gorgeous and I'm so happy of how how it came out so I really love this box so inside the box opens by pulling this little latch I've decorated the inside of the box here also I've used this uh, stamp set by Tattered Angels and I've just stamped the words from the heart which is from the same stamp set also inside this banner and just use uh, 3d pop dots or double sided tape as some people call it at the back here also to give it a 3D sort of look and just added some Venice lace down here. Uh, uh, Prima flowers uh, in the Madeline collection also. The, uh, the, the background paper here is actually by the same paper collection 
um, by Prima Madeline. And here's my gorgeous little mini because I've just made it to fit in here so snug. Uh, it was hard to um, pull it out so I've actually incorporated this little pull which I've tied or which I've glued onto this side, looped it around and out this side here so it just pulls like that and so the mini pops up so it's a lot easier to take it out without, with, uh, without trying to try and dig in and grab the mini out so that just pops out like that by pulling here out comes the mini so that's how I've attached that so that's a really good idea for um, you gorgeous people also who wants to make minis and just want to incorporate something that pulls out easily so that's a good idea that I've incorporated into there so I've just glued it there it goes under and then the mini goes in there and then you just pull it and it just lifts it out so for my mini again I've just used the gorgeous Prima Madeline paper collection the same flower as I have made uh, on the front that I've incorporated here a little miniature one that coordinates with the, the paper uh, collection really well the colors blend in uh, say with pearls there I've used an accordion um, type um, binding here and uh, to conceal that I've added this 3D lace. So the, the lace has like a 3D dimension sort of look on here. I bought that from eBay also. So that's the back and that's the front. I've glimmer misted every page with my homemade glimmer mist using the uh, Tim Holtz heirloom gold and just water. So that's the front cover. Because uh, this mini is so little, I've kept it really simple with lots of room. For photos so prima flowers oh, this is actually petaloo all these flowers are petaloo that i've bought off ebay some martha stewart leaf punch here that i've um, cleared and boss and um, use the uh i think it's like a as as a glitter embossing powder on that so it's really really shimmery and glittery you can't really focus there but it's really glittery uh, Venice lace there, a seam binding bow on this page with um, some pearl trim there and a bling center. I have um, didn't um, put tags in every pocket, uh, I've only incorporated three tags in here in, in the pockets but it has six pages so that's the first tag there, I've just stamped that with a Prima uh, stamp kept the simple lovely gorgeous papers as you can see there also love the greens and the earthly tone there uh, prima flowers by the same madeline collection also in the essentials pack martha stewart punch uh, prima bling i layered the two flowers and then just added a gorgeous little charm right in the center there um, tool which i've tied on both sides here and here added a charm there Simple tag, I've stamped that and clear embossed it also. That's that tag. This page has its own tag, cleared embossed that with the glitter embossing powder. Added some Prima flowers there also and up here and a flat back pearl there and some bling there. I tied a bow on both sides and just added um, a flat back pearl there and pearl trim. This side, just the same rosette trim as on the box there. I've inked all the pages with the worn lipstick distressing ink. And the tag here comes out. So it's the same chandelier stamp there and some room for journaling. On this page, love the, love the paper so I just kept it simple and added some flowers there on some crochet lace there. Just stacked them up, but added a gorgeous bling center there. Sorry about the glare, guys. And here also, um, it's like um, some Prima bling, but it's actually not Prima bling. I also bought these from uh, a flower store that had a whole bunch of them. So I inked or uh, I used um, alcoholic inks on this. So it came out really good. I liked how that turned out. And just stacked some more uh, flowers there and. Muffet Stewart leaf punch. On here, I uh, just used the Muffet Stewart deep edge punch there. I'm trying to stay away from the glare so you guys can see properly. Muffet Stewart deep edge punch. There's some ribbon trim that I bought at eBay. The same flowers and a little tag that comes out. Sorry guys, I'll just lean it back here again. Uh, a damask pattern there. Add a little charm and some seam binding. 
gorgeous papers, uh, a green fabric, a green ruby trim, some flowers, and that's pretty much my um, I completes my mini. It's so small, so I've kept all the pages simple, as you can see there. Really lovely. So thank you for um, uh, dropping by and watching this um, clip, and I hope you all like my mini mini album and my gorgeous little mini box that I have made here. I'll see you guys soon.